Salah is such a beautiful act. Sometimes we overlook it because we do it all the time. So when you do something repeatedly, then you feel the lack of importance and then it just becomes mundane physical acts while your lips are moving. But if you get the meaning of it and you think about the meaning, sometimes you won't have no feeling, that's fine. Not always you're going to be in the mood. But normally you have something good in your life or something bad happening in your life. When you have something good in your life, think about that, Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbil Alameen, that you're thanking Allah. You know, all praise be to Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. And think about the meaning like this when you're saying it, Allahu Akbar, SubhanAllah. Think about the good things that you are experiencing. And then when you're experiencing bad times, then concentrate on the verses where Allah is mentioning, where you are mentioning, Ihdina Sirat Muslim, guide me, O Allah, to the right path. Only you alone I worship, only you alone I ask for help. Concentrate on this. So when you concentrate on the words, then your salah gains meaning and then you get peace and tranquility from that salah, relief 